Hello all, welcome to Random Art with Karen. I'm in my Happy Planner Vintage Botanical and I'm going to be using a stencil and it is from the Crafters Workshop. Uh, it's a six by six stencil from Carmen Medlin. And it is called Mini Literary. Of course, I will put that link below. And I'm going to secure it with some washi tape so it doesn't shift around on me. Of course, the beauty of washi tape is it comes off nice and easily when you're ready to remove it and remove all of the pet hair from your project. <laughs> I'm going to start with these books and I have these little sponge daubers. I got these several years ago. I can't recall uh, where it was at Christmas time. Somebody had a special on it with the case and, and so yeah, I treated myself. I'm also going to keep some scrap paper handy so I can kind of cover up when I don't like when I'm doing these books. I don't want to get my ink in the green leaves there. So I'm going to sort of mask that off and just start daubing away. And uh, of course, the more you apply, the deeper your color is going to be. And then vice versa. The lighter you do, uh, then uh, the lighter the color's going to be. <laughs> and so throughout your process, you can, you know, pick up, since the washi tape's keeping you secure there, pick it up to see, do I want to go a little darker? And in this case, yes, I do. Because those little lines there did not show up. So let's go a little darker there. And then too, if you want to try to do some fancy shading um, maybe go a little darker on the edges I need not to get my gray ink on the hydrangeas there so we're going to flip up and take another look see And yes, I am liking that much better. And then you just switch up uh, and you'll see the reason that I have all these different cover colored daubers is because you don't want to, you know, cross contaminate. If I brought that gray into the green, then it would be muddy looking. So I'm going to get then a green dauber and grab my green ink. And then just do the same that I did with the books and just daub in there. And again, sort of masking off or covering areas of the other parts of the stencil. The other keen thing about stencils is they're not very expensive. You can use them over and over again. Very easily to store, as you can see, they don't take up much room at all. So you could just keep them in like a file folder. Also, you can just do portions of it. So if I wanted to, I could mask this off and just do, you know, the, the pens and the ink wells. So I'm going to finish this off camera. And then when I come back. All right. So I have daubered my way through this. And so I'm going to peel this off and see what we got not too bad i did go out of the got a little smudge there but i'm not gonna not gonna sweat and fret over it <clears throat> let's go ahead and put this in my happy planner vintage botanical and i may i may do some more stenciling maybe up in here um yeah be mindful it does get on your <laughs> inky fingers <clears throat> all right so um i'll also come back and show you once i do my journaling i've been using uh this particular month in the happy planner vintage botanical to write down song lyrics and in, in different scripture uh to keep me in happy thoughts and so uh 
uh, I'll be sharing that with you uh, here in just a moment. So stick with me. All right, so here is my finished pages. And my friend Joby posts every day. It's called Horse Hippie, and there's a mantra every day. And it was a really good one. And so that's why I, I wrote that down. It, the, the gist of it is, your life is what you think it is. So it has a lot to do with mind over matter, positive thinking, and it just really spoke to me that day. So that's why I wanted to write it down and keep it here in my happy planner. And then my verse for today, blessed is the man that trusteth in the Lord and whose hope the Lord is. For he shall be as a tree planted by the waters and that spreadeth out her roots by the river and shall not see when heat cometh, but her leaf shall be green and shall not be careful in the year of drought neither shall cease from yielding fruit. And that's from Jeremiah. So I've been enjoying this, and it was really fun to pull my stencils out again. And I will put the links below uh, for the uh, Crafters Workshop where I got my uh, mediums and where I got the stencil. All right, good people, if you like this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And become a subscriber if you're not already. Just hit the subscribe button. Those of you that do subscribe, you know I appreciate you. Let's do the wave by. Look forward to doing something random with you next time.